This video will walk you through how to add new content to Lumen Ohm courses. We'll focus on the most common types of content, blocks, inline text, links, and assessments. Let's start at the top of your course homepage. Just below the name of your course, you'll see a drop-down menu for Add an Item. Use this drop-down to select the type of content you want to add. First, let's look at blocks. Blocks are folders that may contain a variety of content. Instructors often use blocks to organize chapters and sections of course material. To add a block, just select Add Block from the drop-down menu. You can create a title, choose viewing options and availability, and set colors if desired. The When Available options allow you to select the format for displaying the block contents. Next, let's look at inline text. Instructors use inline text to provide useful information, notes, or instructions to their students placed at appropriate points in the course. You can create a title for the inline text. Then OWN provides an editing box with lots of flexibility for the content you want to include. Text, hyperlinks, equations, images, videos, attachments, graphs, and so forth. You can enter new content or cut and paste from other OER content. If you add YouTube video links, be sure to check the List of YouTube Videos box. When you do this, OM automatically embeds the videos into your inline text. Links are pretty self-explanatory. They allow you to direct students to content such as an online graphing calculator, file, or web page. To add a link, select this option from the Add Content drop-down menu. Create a title and add a summary to explain what the link provides. Identify the link type, then configure the other settings as desired. Finally, we'll do a brief overview of how to add assessments. To begin, select Add Assessment. You can create an assessment name, summary, and introduction or instructions. Then, set the availability for this assessment and modify other options as desired. If you'd like a more in-depth walkthrough that explains all these options in the assessment settings, please check out our video on Creating and Modifying Assessments. When you're finished going through the assessment options, click the Create Assessment button at the bottom of the page. Next, OM takes you to the Add Remove Questions page. OM allows you to select from a massive number of assessment questions created by other OM users. These questions are captured in a set of libraries organized by topic. You can search in a couple of ways. First, you can select the libraries you want to search from. If you don't enter a search term, your query will return up to 300 questions from each library. If you do enter a search term, your results will be filtered using that term. Alternatively, you can search across all the OM question libraries. To do this, be sure to check the Search All Libraries box. This will return all questions that match your query across all the libraries. The Preview button shows you complete details about each question. To add questions, you can either check the Mark Question for Use box in the Preview screen, or you can mark the questions you want to use in the far left column of the Add Remove Questions page. Once you've selected the questions you want to use, click either Add or Add Using Defaults. Add Using Defaults will include the default values for assessment settings like the number of points, the number of attempts allowed, whether to include video hints, and so forth. Again, if you'd like an in-depth walkthrough with much more detail about assessments in Lumen Ohm, you should watch our video on creating and modifying assessments. The Add an Item menu also provides options for you to add drills, forums, wikis, or calendars to your course. Drills are timed, formative exercises you can use if desired. Forums, wikis, and calendars all replicate features that already exist in most learning management systems like Blackboard, Canvas, or D2L. If you're not using OM integrated into your learning management system or LMS, these tools may be useful. If you are using OM inside your LMS, we recommend using the LMS's built-in discussion boards, wiki collaboration tools, calendar, and so forth. 